Hi everyone, just wanted to say how much we're missing you all and really can't wait to see you soon, hopefully. Um, hope school's going well, hope you're enjoying being back at school with your friends and we really, really do miss you and really, really can't wait to get back together. Anyway, it's my turn to share a story with you and this is a story that Jesus told. And it's about two men. Once upon a time, there were two men. And one man said, I want to build a house. I'll build it on the rock. <clears throat> That's a good, safe place to build. So he dug and dug down to the rock, and he built his house there. Then the rain fell, and the winds blew, and the floods came. But his house stood safe on the rock. If you listen to me and do as I said, Jesus said, you are like that man. The other man said, I want to build a house. I'll build it on the sand where it's easy to dig. His house was soon built. Then the rain fell and the wind blew and the floods came and his house fell down with a crash. If you listen to me, but forget what I say, Jesus said, you are like that man. This is a story we've heard lots of times before, I'm sure, in JKs and adventurers. And it's often called the wise man and the foolish man. Well, why did Jesus share this story? Well, he shared it with us because he loves us and he wants us to learn things and teach us. And basically, what I think Jesus was trying to say in this story is that if we live according to the things that he teaches us, that are good for us and a good way to live, then we'll be like the man building our house on the rock. But when we don't, then sometimes things happen, a bit like storms, a bit like life totally being changed around like it has been recently. And we find it can be a bit scary without God. It can be hard to make sense of but when we trust in Jesus and know him as our friend we can be like that man who built his house on the rock it doesn't matter what else is going on outside we can feel nice and safe and at peace because Jesus loves us and he can give us his peace when things don't feel very peaceful and can feel very scary he can give us peace when we don't know what the future holds and he does that because he loves us and today I just want you to know that Jesus really really loves you and actually building his way is the best way and although the foolish man thought actually it was easier to build on the sand actually building God's way is a much better way and the things that he gives us to do or the things that Jesus told us we need to do and are important he gave us two commandments, he said. Love the Lord your God and love everyone else as God loves them. And that's what he wants for us. And if we live like that, then we'll be at peace because we'll be at peace with God and we'll be at peace with everyone around us. And that's a great way to live. So I hope you've enjoyed this story and hope again to see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.